Hi everybody! Today I am going to teach you how to make this really great and actually surprisingly simple zipper texture that I have here. Um, it's a lot easier than you think and I think most of you who have some basic Photoshop knowledge um, will have some good luck with this. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to start on a blank canvas and I'm going to select a gray color for the teeth of our zipper. And you're just going to, you know, pull out a tooth in a rectangle shape and rasterize it. And then I'm going to go to layer styles and I'm going to select bevel and emboss and I'm going to give this guy a pretty deep bevel and on a pretty good size so it looks like a tooth just like that. And then I'm going to just scoot this over here in the middle so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to um, convert this to a smart object and the reason I do that is because when you convert something to a smart object it maintains its original properties so things aren't going to get skewed and and uh, look strange or anything once we've done that so I'm going to duplicate that layer and I'm going to pull this layer down and then I'm going to offset it like that about halfway if you're not exact that's okay or you can use your grid lines and your rulers to um, do that and then I'm going to duplicate again and I'm going to pull it down like a, and I'm going to pull another set down. And for the sake of time, I'm not going to do too many of these because it can be a long, tedious process depending on how long you want your zipper to be. I always recommend making yourself some extra because, and then saving this in layers because you'll be able to use this over and over and over again. It's very simple and easy to do. And this is probably something you don't want to have to do every time you need a zipper for a project. So there we go. We have a couple duplicates of this now. And you'll see like this, this eats a lot of memory, this smart object does. Okay, so that looks wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and make a folder and I'm going to drop all of these zipper teeth into a folder. And we're going to need them again in a minute. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them all, duplicate them. I'm going to pull my duplicates out of the folder just by going like that. And I'm going to merge them. Okay, and now I want to be able to hide all those zipper teeth. So Sarah, I have one set that's all merged together. Do not merge all of those layers because you're going to want them later to do that open part and I'll show you why, but it's going to save you a lot of headache if you don't do that. So now I'm going to select a color for that inside fabric area on your zipper and I'm just going to do two pieces. I'm going to pull it halfway through just like that and I'm going to duplicate this First, I'm going to rasterize it, actually, and I'm going to pull it beneath the zippers, and then I'm going to duplicate it and just scoot it over here like this until it lines up. Now, you may want a little bit of space in your zippers, so if you go to where the other teeth end and just kind of adjust a little bit, that'll be perfect, just like that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to select those zipper teeth that are all merged together and I'm going to do that by loading the selection and then we're going to just delete the two lines below it okay so when you get that I do that just by hitting my delete key and you're going to get that so you get that nice offset zigzag through there and the reason I'm going to do this is because if anybody has watched some of my videos before or knows me personally you guys know that I'm super lazy and so instead of like burning and shadowing all of these individual spots between these teeth I'm going to do it with one fell swoop with layer styles. So I'm going to go to layer styles and I'm going to select inner glow and I'm going to change it to black and I'm going to change my blending mode to multiply and then I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we have a nice glow just like that. I'm going to duplicate the layer Oops, I'm sorry, I'm not duplicating the layer. I'm going to copy the layer style and I'm going to paste it on the other side. So now you basically have this wonderful zipper. I'm going to raster, or I'm going to convert these guys to smart objects and rasterize them because I don't want that, I want that layer style all merged in now. And then I'm going to use this little arrow and I'm going to delete or the selector tool rather, arrow. My goodness, just like that. And so now you've got the body of your zipper, okay? Um, I'm going to actually do this video in two different parts. So I'm going to show you how to make the zipper pull, and then I'll show you guys how to make an individual strand of teeth on these zippers here in just a second on a second video. So bear with me. But I'm going to go back to my gray color, 
And I'm going to pull a triangle through just like this for my zipper pull. And I'm going to rasterize it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little selector tool out and I'll zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to put a hole in it just like that where it'll go into the actual threader. And just for decoration's sake, let's make this guy a little prettier. Just like that. And like I said, Layer Styles is my best friend. So let's go up to Layer Styles and we're going to go to Bevel and Emboss. And this is where you really can have a lot of fun and get creative here. And I'll show you why. We're going to go with a really deep bevel and I'm going to make it pretty big. But I'm going to select Contour now and look at all the different shapes I have available to me. And I'm going to do one like this where it looks like it's going downwards but you can make one that looks like it's popping up and just have a bunch of different shapes and looks to your um, zipper. So it's up to you. I'm going to stick with this guy just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to put in another, I'm going to use the rounded rectangle tool and then I'm going to come in and I'm just going to pull through just like that and make the actual um, zipper pull itself and I'm going to rasterize it and of course bevel and emboss, right? My best friend. And I'm going to make this pretty deep and pretty big just like that. Beautiful. Okay and then what I'm going to do is I am going to add a layer below that one, actually below both of them and I'm going to get out my polygonal lasso tool. tool. Oh my gosh it's so hard to say. And just pull a diagonal line and then one straight down and then a line, another line diagonal and just fill it in just like that and then I'm going to bucket fill that like so duplicate that layer and flip it horizontal and then just scoot it over, oops, scoot it over here where it belongs just like that and I'm going to merge those two layers and then of course bevel and emboss layer, layer styles, bevel and emboss and this guy I'm not going to make so deep because this one I'm also going to add an inner glow on and I'm going to make it black and change my blending mode to multiply and you'll see what a difference that makes. Okay so now I pretty much have got my zipper pull and I'm going to pull this over here and just line it up right there and you'll see that's pretty much done and then if you wanted to get creative you could take and you could put a drop shadow on it or you could burn in um, underneath it to make it look like it's laying on top like that. Just like that. And anyway, so that's how I personally like to do my um, zipper pulls and my zippers. So I'm going to stop this particular video and then I'm going to go back and I'll be right back with you guys. Watch the next set of videos because the next one is going to show you how to make these individual lines right through here so you can make an open zipper. So check back with me.